Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. Jefferson County Public Schools in Colorado allowed a non-binary female to supervise boys' showers and forced a female student to share a bed with a male, violating parental rights over children's privacy and accommodation decisions on school trips, according to a federal lawsuit filed on behalf of parents. The lawsuit accuses JCPS of not providing truthful information to parents concerning who will be supervising and sharing accommodations with their children on school-sponsored trips. The advocacy group Alliance Defending Freedom, which filed the complaint on behalf of three families, said in a statement, the policy at the center of the controversy directs that students be assigned to share overnight accommodations with other students that share the student's gender identity rather than according to their biological sex. Official communications from JCPS state that girls will be roomed together on one floor and boys together on a different floor. However, the lawsuit states that JCPS has redefined girl and boy to align with a student's gender identity. The filing cites specific incidents that spurred the legal action. For example, on a trip to Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., the 11-year-old daughter of Joe and Serena Wales was unexpectedly made to share a bed with a boy who identifies as a girl. The Wales family had not been informed of this arrangement in advance and had their requests for accommodations to opt out of such policies repeatedly denied by JCPS. In another incident, Brett and Suzanne Rawler's 11-year-old son discovered that his high school counselor tasked with supervising the boys' showers on a camping trip was a non-binary female, contrary to the prior information given by the district. Further concern arose with Rob and Jade Perlman, who worry about the sleeping arrangements for their children on school trips. The lawsuit contends that JCPS has failed to provide accommodations for students who are uncomfortable or whose religious beliefs are violated by the district's policies. Furthermore, the district's lack of transparency prevents parents from making informed decisions regarding their children's participation in school trips. A spokesperson for the school district said in a statement provided to Crisis in the Classroom that it is still determining facts surrounding the claims made in the lawsuit, saying it was only recently informed of what occurred on the trips. In January, ADF sent a second letter to JCPS urging the district to allow parents to opt their children out of policies that assign rooming based on gender identity. Quote, Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Luke 17, 28, 30. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.